Good evening everyone. This is Henry Gamble with simpleroptions.com and in tonight's free video I wanted to share some basic criteria that we've been using and we've covered these in the free videos during various segments but it's nice to follow up on them and then of course looking for some of these that fit this criteria moving forward. So the first that we've got up is control 4 and this one has been a very interesting back and forth story if you've been following it in the chat room we've been trading it fairly actively and it's it's nice to see it come through for you on days like today but it's basically to say very simple criteria you're above the 50 the 100 and the 200 daily moving averages and then points above the 21 you should focus on continuing to buy now this was a little bit of a tough day and depending on how you associate yourself with stops you know I tend to use smaller position size and wider stops so we're able to hang on through that move but even at that you still would have been well above the 50 day moving average and it's doing a good job of paying us today with you know nice overhead targets another place that we're looking at is PayPal and same concept here you know you can go back and look at some of the free videos we've had this discussed previously and ultimately just going back to say you know it's not like I'm a rocket scientist you're just trying to take these patterns and have them reproduce the you know the results you've seen previously this of course was a move into earnings so depending on how you trade those maybe a little bit um, riskier than other situations but here you had the squeeze that gave you a very nice move same relationship to the 50 102 and then you're holding your um, more immediate moving averages very cleanly as well and then you have the same pattern that repeats here so those are a couple that we've been involved with for some time and they've had great moves today so it's nice to have those in play as the indexes try to figure out what they would like to do now the third place to say okay those are great now that and then it's not just hindsight you know we've been taking these as they've been discussed but one that hasn't been or one that is in play right now is Tesla and it can be a little you know it's been a lot of back and forth over the course of the past several sessions you can see that the fib work has been pretty technical and helpful in this but when I say it's been back and forth you know just two days ago it wasn't maybe as easy to argue below the 50-day moving average but now we have a situation where today we closed back up above the 8 and the 21 or above the 50 the 100 and the 2 and I think that's going to be another opportunity to be looking at Tesla to the long side so um, we'll see where it opens up. Of course, that doesn't mean that tomorrow is going to be the day that it just explodes higher, but I think it's worth starting to keep an eye on, and we'll see if we can get it to play out, similar to how those previous squeezes have resulted. So I hope that's helpful, give you some stuff to add into your trading in the next couple of weeks, and we'll see you at the next free video.